Hey guys, I'm back again. It's tutorial time. This week I'll be explaining how to build the bud switch system that, um, you know, automatically halves, harvests your watermelon. So, say this watermelon grows, the, this block detector pretty much detects it, pushes it out, goes down center to a collection point. This is just a, a test world. Um, I'll show you how to build one of these. Also, there was a lot of people saying that, um... For my last video that the the tiled block how it stays tiled is not true that is actually true i'll also teach you how to do one of those as well but just for the people that don't actually believe me it works um it is out there there's a lot of people have done it before but then again these people keep questioning it so i'll also add that on this tutorial as well um there's pretty much no use for the to, to, for it to stay tiled anymore because of the whole watermelon change, but I'll add it anyway. So let's let's get um, let's jump right into it. Just give me a sec. Okay, let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to build it a couple of uh, about one off the ground, I reckon. Yep. So we place one block. We put a sticky piston on top of it, facing straight up. Get rid of the block underneath because we just want the piston floating in the air. Now put one block on top of the sticky piston and pretty much one on each side there we go so it should be looking like that three and now we want to place a block there and another block on top of it get rid of that block so we're going we went up one and now we want to come back on itself pretty much so now it's pretty much looking like a sidewards V just say and then we place another block so that's what it should be looking like so far now what we want to do now is we want to grab our repeater we want to put a repeater there with no delay facing the block and then we want to run redstone straight over the top there we go should be looking like that now we grab our redstone torch we put it on the end here and then finally we just place one redstone there now that is a bud switch that should be fully working bud switch so anything happens around it around this block here it will update get it so that's perfect now we got all that set that's the bud switch itself now we want to um, build like a harvesting system for the actual watermelon so we place a regular piston at the back here and now we're just going to hook that regular piston straight up to the back wiring here so it doesn't matter, we just can't put any delay running down to the piston itself or else it won't work, which I'll show you shortly. So that's all we're doing is just running wire thing. You can make this part any way you want. You can left, right, back, whatever. Just as I said, don't put any delay. So we're just running it straight there. So now, if this actually updates, see, both of them go off. So now all you have to do is we break this block here, pour a nice bucket of water in there, hoe a bit of land. Now we go find some watermelon seeds, which are down here somewhere. There we are. So we will replace the we'll just replace the hoe for now. Plant some watermelon. So now, now you just put a side on it so it encourages it not to grow anywhere else. There we go. Simple. And so now when this watermelon grows, it'll push it out. I'll just replace the seeds with an actual watermelon block. So I'll show you what happens. Say that's grown, went into the block next to it. There we go, breaks it. So suggestions, it's just to put the, you know, a nice canal system going this way. Pour your bucket of water in. And then, you know, you can put some glass, you know, whatever you like in there but you know I'm just using this as an example so you can get maximum from this actual thing so as soon as it grows most of it will be pushed in yes you can improve on this design but this is just for an example but yeah and it'll all run to you so as soon as the watermelon grows you get more okay so this is that's a pretty simple tutorial to to make a fully automatic um, melon farm so you can just wait until it grows you know stack a few of these next to each other like I've got over here so I've got this one here, which is pretty much similar. As soon as it grows, it's pushed off. So these are jeweled together here. Now, um, for people wondering what would happen if you would put, say, some sort of 
delay here at all any delay so say you wanted to put a delay on this this um here which i don't know why you want to but some people might want to sorry okay so just saying we're putting a delay in so now when it updates it will screw it over oh, sorry about that because uh sometimes you need to extend your extend your actual redstone itself so we're just running it into ourselves there we go so any delay on it at all and this is what will happen no you don't want that and you just burnt out the redstone so that's what will happen if you put a delay on it you just need to run, just be hooked straight up no delay nothing not not even a redstone torch if you even have this running down for, even with a redstone torch you, it will do the exactly the same thing um, so nothing it should be reset now okay. works perfectly now back to this one so this one's just a side by side um, and again you can just run yourself um, some some water down the middle here there we go and there you go That's it, see see what I mean easy watermelon farm and then I got this one over here which is the same pretty much system I'll just join them joining them together grows breaks as you can see it's already been breaking and it's been collecting in the middle down here uh, this is as I said this is just an example so you can put two of them together grows off the block grows off the block but yeah you can put a nice case on it you can probably even squish it further together if you like um, by filling in a gap here making it all compact and such all right so that's the end of this tutorial I'll get started on the one how you don't have to rehoe the ground okay now for the other uh, bud switch system that um, you don't have to rehoe the the soil itself the people that did question that it is on the internet for people to see um, but I'll build it anyway just to show the people that didn't believe that that actually works the lo lots and lots of emails the messages I've been receiving from it so anyway what we want to do first is we want to be building this machine along we want to build building it along the Z line all right we want to be facing the piston along the Z and then we want the canal system itself face it you know along the X and I'm pretty sure that's how it works so along the Z as you can see in the left hand corner the Z is going up and down along that okay so let's get started we're going to just place uh, sticky piston and then we're going to right next to the sticky piston we're going to place any block I'm just going to use watermelon and then from the sticky piston front we're going to place one block and then we're going to dig down one and then we're going to put a redstone torch inside that hole we're going to cover it over by another block don't worry we'll be moving that block later on so and then what we want to do is we want to place a redstone in front of this thing so after that what you want to do come to your right here and just place another block put another redstone torch on top which will turn off and then we want to place another block on top of the torch like that so now we want to swing around going back this way towards the piston and we want to in the middle here we'll be placing a any block uh, in the middle here we'll be placing a block and then on top of that block we're going to be putting a repeater and then we want to put a block facing well in front of that repeater and we get rid of the, the bottom like that so we come out two so there's two like that and then we bring out the bottom as well like that so it's sort of like a V just here and then what we want to do is put a redstone torch on top run wiring a redstone straight off of it run put a torch on the opposite side which will turn off and then underneath we just want to run straight redstone and then back of this piston here sticky piston we want to build it up twice we're going to put a redstone on top which will do that and then she should be pre pretty much ready to go now all we have to do is knock out this block here which will do that so as soon as we remove this this any block you can have any block there it will do that so 
just a standard one side bud switch well technically it's got an update on the side as well and the bottom but oh well see that's done now so now what we want to do is we want to dig three down one two three place a, a sticky piston whoop, on the bottom and then we want to place a dirt block on top of that now we just um, okay we come back here we come back ooh, yep we come back here we just dig out so we can see the piston there we go we dug a stairway going down to the piston goes back up here to the back of the machine and where this power is constantly on we run wire straight down to it so now that piston should be up constantly on so now what we want to do is we want to put a standard piston pretty much well sorry we want to put a piston on top of that block there we go so it should be looking like that sorry if this is a bit complicated for some people but it's all up in my head so it should be looking like that so now all we have to do is hook this last piston up which is pretty easy we just we uh, run straight off where we run be running blocks straight off the uh, where the redstone torch is and then we pretty much from that torch we run it straight down to there so anything happens now everything will fire properly okay so now what we want to do is put some water in obviously there we go we put some water in okay we got some water in now we go find a hoe hoe the ground hoe next to it as well so we can put some watermelon seeds which I've got to go get some more get rid of the hoe there we go oh, there we go so it's now as soon as the watermelon grows see it keeps a tile you don't have to re-hoe it nothing see that's for the people that you know didn't know that but it's pretty much useless now this would have been great pre you know 1.1.1 1 .1 when watermelons didn't grow on everything it just grew on you know farmland this that was my plan is to have a massive machine with all this and there's, there's a lot there's probably other way simpler designs out there but this one works perfectly as I said it, it will keep the tiled so as long as you don't jump on it like I did and I'll re hoe it for you guys there we go put the watermelon so it'll stay it'll stay constant like that it's all to do with what something updates first I'm pretty sure one block updates first and uh, yeah and pulls the pulls the farmland under before anything else fires and yeah that's why you have to build on the certain access and as I said we've uh, built the main machine f going along the z-axis uh, I'm pretty sure you can build it either way this facing that way facing that way I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that but it works just fine so that should have answered all, all the people's questions um, a lot of people really wanted to know how to build that for some strange reason and you know the bud switch system now there's a few other bud switches I've been playing with you've got a toggle bud switch which is just a small compact design here we here that I've been playing with you can get rid of those blocks um, this is great for like furnaces or room lighting or a door because soon as you um soon as you place any door next to it and you open that door you know the it will toggle on and off so you can have like an entire entire room lights turn on and off when you come in and out of the room or a furnace when the furnace is finished um, cooking your glass you could um, it will update the block and toggle it on and off on or off um, which you could have a little tune gun doodle or whatever you know there's there's a lot of great things you can use with bud switches um, I just pretty much discovered them a lot of people you know link in me videos and such and so yeah now I'm playing with bud switches and I'll be playing with them for a little bit longer um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe check out face my Facebook you know um, a lot of FAQs on the 
left hand side on my channel um, system specs uh, some schematics I think I have to fix the schematics link apparently uh, the site that hosted is broken or something rather I'll go confirm that later and get all that fixed up for everybody but anyway I will catch you all later and as a, and again sorry for the complicated tutorial um, I'll try to make it as simple as possible uh, yeah anyway guys catch us later